Richardson's all easing down across the line. 10.94, a mark of how good an athlete is. Now, there's nothing new to that. This is evidenced by the fact that she fast-tracked to the big leagues and almost had her Olympic debut in Tokyo if she hadn't been sidelined. Today, she stands firm to her words, I'm not back, I'm better. She fought her way to the top and she fought hard. Well, she may be a well-known name across the globe, and not just because of her track prowess, truth be told, but she still has ways to go before she is considered the greatest sprinter of her generation. The world, critics mostly, make it hard for Shikari to simply focus on her craft. US track fans used to love her, at least until she failed to compete in Tokyo due to a violation. Since then, she became an easy example for people trying to make all kinds of arguments criticizing her for testing positive, criticizing the idea that THC is still banned, or even criticizing other people for criticizing her. At the time, Rickardson posted a three-word response to the whole thing. I am human. Shortly afterward, Richardson basically disappeared from the consciousness of many Americans who mostly pay attention to track and field only during the Olympics anyway. She came back to the limelight last year after being almost undefeated in the 100 meter and eventually took the gold at the 2023 World Championships in the 100 meter and 4x100 meter relay. This year, she topped the US Olympic trials in the 100 meter before earning a silver in Paris. She added a gold to her Olympic debut medals after leading the 4x100 meter team to a win. She has come a long way, to say the least. Even her views have changed over the years. I'm not worried about the world anymore, Richardson said in a previous interview. I've seen the world be my friend. I've seen the world turn on me. But at the end of the day, I've always been with me. God has always been with me, so being on this scale now, it's my time. And the people that felt like me, the people that look like me, and people that know their truth about themselves as well, she learned that lesson the hard way, but the world's hate and criticism did not affect her love for the sport. You keep showing up no matter what, Richardson told Vogue ahead of the Olympics. Most people, they only think of track every four years. The Olympics, that's all there is, those few seconds on TV. But for me, track is my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything I do, what I eat, what I drink, if I stay up too late, it's all reflected on the track. Every choice, that's what the world doesn't see. What's more, instead of being crippled or weighed down by the hate and judgment, Shakari thrived on the challenge. I'm inspired whenever someone tells me I can't do something, she told Nike. She also puts her physical and mental health at the forefront. I need to keep up a personal routine to keep my mental health number one, she admitted. I do way less social media than I used to. I do more breathing exercises. I've been writing more, which is new for me. I used to think sitting down and putting my thoughts down on paper was a waste of time, but no, it's a whole different source of relief for me. Those improvements are very important, especially since she wants to leave a mark in the sport. When people think Shakari Richardson, I want them to think of someone who's real, someone who knows her reality, her goals, her abilities, she said. Someone who's not comparing herself to the person in front of her or behind her. I want to create greatness and give the world a show. So far, she has, although it hasn't always been in a positive light. That said, it's pretty easy to conclude that she continues to be plagued by issues and controversies, whatever she does. In fact, when she does nothing at all, her name is still being fodder for gossip. Case in point, the list of nominees for the 2024 USATF award has recently been released, and the fact that Richardson's name was not on the list caused a stir. It is mostly for the reason that she will not be defending her crown as America's finest after being excluded from the USATF Jackie Joyner Kersey Athlete of the Year Award. Some of you may remember that she'd been named Athlete of the Year and was honored at the USA Track and Fields Night of Legends ceremony in December of last year. There, she received the Jackie Joyner Kersey Athlete of the Year for Women Award for her dominant performances in 2023. This year, though, Richardson, who won silver in 100 meter and anchored Team USA in 4x100 meter relay to Olympics glory, 
is not among the nominees for the prestigious award. That leaves three-time Olympics champion Gabby Thomas and world 400-meter hurdles record holder Sidney McLaughlin Lavrone as favorites. McLaughlin Lavrone and Thomas are two of five women on the shortlist for the Female Athlete of the Year crown, named after Jackie Joyner Kersay. They are joined by Valerie Allman, Tara Davis Woodhall, and Masai Russell. Needless to say, the top U.S. athletes of the year, all Olympic champions in Paris, are up for annual awards. Fans can cast their votes to help decide the winner. Fans can vote in each of the five categories on the USATF website. World record breaker Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, three time Olympic gold medalist Ryan Krauser, and Olympic sprint champions Noah Lyles and Gabby Thomas are among the athletes nominated for the USA Track and Field Athlete of the Year awards. Meanwhile, Krauser and Lyles are among the six American men on the Jesse Owens Male Athlete of the Year shortlist, alongside Rye Benjamin. Quincy Hall, Cole Hawker, and Grant Holloway. Three other awards are also up for grabs for U.S. athletes in Breakthrough Performer, Inspirational Olympic Performance, and Most Dominant Performer categories. Now, among all the female nominees, Richardson had the closest relationship with Gabby Thomas. They were on the same gold-winning team in Paris after all. However, the rumor mill worked overnight, and there was news of tension and even a physical altercation between the two. Thomas has since refuted claims that she is beefing with Shakari Richardson, as she addressed claims that they had a physical fight at the relay camp, as they were gearing up for the Paris Olympic Games. The Triple Olympic champion explained that it was one of the worst rumors she ever heard about herself pointing out that people on the internet just love pitting the two sprint queens against each other. Gabby added that she does not have anything against Shakari, explaining that they are very cool with each other, and they also compete in the relay races together. She even expressed her shock that people have an idea in their heads, that they are the worst of enemies, and every time they are around each other, there has to be some tension. The worst rumor, that's a tough one, I think a fighting one. I think the worst one is me fighting at the relay camp. People love that. They have this fake beef between and Shakari Richardson and I on the eh, and they just love it. Gabby Thomas shared on the Why Not Me with Mike Johnson podcast. She did clarify that they were okay. Yeah, we are just cool. We are two very normal people, Gabby said. We don't train together so we don't know each other really well, but when we see each other we are cool and we do relays together, so we're cool but people have this idea that every time we link, we fight. Like physical fighting. I hate it. I can't stand it. It doesn't do any good thing for black people. Here's what's happening to other athletes. 